Number 13, indicate what type or types of reaction each of the following represents, and then we have letter B out of the bunch. In this case, we have CaOH2 plus 2HBr yields CaBr2 and then plus 2H2O, and then they tell us each of the states. Okay, so let's just analyze this for a little bit, right? What actually happened or how did we get to the products? It looks like I had a calcium, right? And it was mixed up with the polyatomic hydroxide, right? We should know our polyatomics, right? We should memorize them. You're never going to be able to get away from polyatomics. And it seems like this is one compound, right? The calcium and the hydroxide were coming together with hydrogen. And if we just have a different color, let's just do this nice little red here. BR, right? But then what happened? Hmm, it looks like the calcium is now hooked up with the bromine. So the calcium is now hooked up with the bromine. And how did that happen? It looks like this had to hook up with the bromine here. And what's left over? Oh, the hydrogen and the OH. It seemed like those had to react with each other to get H2O. Now, just know that H2O, another way of saying it is HOH. This is actually how water is formed. The split is not between the hydrogen and the oxygen. The split is between the polyatomic OH and hydrogen. And now that kind of makes sense. I have H and OH, and HOH comes together to form water. So if you need to just quickly just write HOH instead of H2O, you can do that. So I'm going to say that, let's see, who was that? Green was OH, and then the, um, the H was the yellow. But that's basically what happened here. I had two compounds calcium hydroxide and uh, hydrobromic acid, reacting to switch partners. That's all that happened here. You're, like, switching partners. Can you see that? I hope so, right? Instead of calcium wanting to be with OH, calcium switched partners, and now he wound up with the bromine. And that's why it's Ca and Br. And then the hydroxide didn't want to be with calcium. It switched partners to get to uh, hydrogen to make HOH, a.k.a. water. Whenever you're switching compounds or switching partners, this is always a double displacement, you could see it as. Now, this just makes... Uh, this is like professor or teacher specific. Some teachers or professors call this type of reaction double displacement. Some of them call it double replacement. So I would just match up whichever one uh, your teacher or professor talks about. But if you see this idea of switching partners, especially if you have compound number one with compound number two, technically if you have two compounds, and then you have two compounds at the end, it's switching partners, it's double replacement or double displacement. So we'll say that this is now the new number third compound, and then this is the new number fourth compound. Now, it said, you know, indicate what types of reaction. Hmm, maybe there's other answers. The first answer is that this is totally a double displacement or a total, totally double replacement reaction. But now let's dig a little bit deeper. Let's actually analyze what compounds were here. Hmm, let's see. HBr, that should be standing out at us, right? We should at some point, if we're doing this type of question, you should have memorized your strong acids. And if you were supposed to memorize your strong acids, chances are you were supposed to memorize your strong bases as well. So let's just write them down. Once again, this is all memorization. All right, so there's only six generally for each. This is also teacher or professor specific, but in general terms, the strong acids 
There's usually only going to be six of these and six of these, but I would just double check with your teacher or professor. Your strong acids are going to be HCl, HBr, HI, HNO3, HClO4, and H2SO4. If you see any of these in any of your balance equations, those are automatically going to be acids. So I see that I have HBr here, so I know that this is going to act as an acid. But now let's just quickly go over our bases. There should be roughly six of these that your teacher or professor wants you to memorize. Um, they are, let's see, it is LiOH, NaOH, KOH, CaOH2, BaOH2, and I believe SROH2. But just remember, go back to your teacher or professor and just make sure that they want you to know the six of them, okay? So I see that I have CaOH2, and that's right here. That's classified as a strong base. So I have a base here. Hmm. I have a base plus acid yields something plus water, right? This is being added. This, if it's just a normal uh, ionic compound, and which is what this is, right? Calcium is a metal, bromine is a nonmetal. The other word that we can say for ionic compounds are salts. So in this case, it's the basis of base plus acid will always yield salt plus water. When you see this going on, right, this is called a neutralization reaction. The base and the acid combine together to form something that was neutral, which is the water, right? And technically, depending on what salt you have, that's also neutral as well. So everything is neutral at the end. You had nothing that was neutral in your beginning, right? This was clearly a base, this was clearly an acid, but when they came together, they evened each other out. They produced a salt and water, which are neutral. And I think now we have exhausted all of the types of reactions for this one. So there's technically two of them, okay? Double displacement or double replacement, and then a neutralization reaction. And that's it. Guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments if this helped you out. Definitely remember your strong acids and strong bases because if you are taking chemistry two, so chem two, if you guys are in college, or the later part of high school chemistry, these are going to come back. I guarantee you. Okay. So we got to memorize them. All right. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys all in the next lecture or not lecture, right? This is more cool than lectures. I'll see you guys in the, in, in the next lesson. Okay, bye-bye now.